Welcome to our analysis of the music of Descent into Dip in Fahrenheit. We're going to play a sample of the music from each game, but we won't tell you which one it came from. Try to guess what kind of game each track might belong to, and then we'll show you the gameplay that goes with each. This is our first track. Take a moment to listen to it, and think about what kind of game you would be playing while listening to this type of music. During class, we received comments that this track reminded listeners of Baby Mario's Nursery. Or alternatively, others said that this reminded them of a puzzle game. They said it was gentle, starry, and out of olden times. We're transitioning now into our second track. Try to pay attention to what feels different and to what this track reminds you of. During class, we received comments that this track reminds of listeners of sci-fi. Also like Metroid. They said it was metallic, modern, and more harsh than the previous track.
We are now going to show you screenshots from each game. This would be a good time to pause the video and take a guess as to which track fits with which. If you said track 1 matched Faraheim, you'd be right. Let's watch some footage from both games to see how the music interacts with the gameplay. Faraheim follows the journey of a young creature called Aaron as he tries to escape a palace with the help of his two spirit friends. Here we are introduced to Aaron's first friend Draga. As you can see, Aaron is pulled towards the center of his friend. You can control the location of Draga by clicking and holding at a location on the screen. The radius of influence is set based on how long you hold. One thing to notice is that the music resets at the start of every level. We wanted each level to be distinct and to have a sense of separation. Here, we are introduced to Aaron's second friend, Ita. The main difference with Ita is that Aaron is pushed away from its center. This allows Aaron's two friends to act as a useful duo with their pushing and pulling mechanics. Throughout the playtesting process, we received feedback that Fairheim was very fun, yet often really frustrating. With this feedback, we made the decision to use the music and the soundtrack of the game to combat this frustration. The end result is track 1 from the beginning of this video, and a track that has been playing in the background. We tried to make it as soothing as possible while still fitting the theme.
The chimes in the music inspire the pickup sound for the gems and fit into the starry theme mentioned before. The music also influenced our art style, with the ancient palace setting and the starry night in the background. We close out each level as Aaron exits through an old stone door, connecting to the musical invocation of olden times. Overall, we were trying to create a soundtrack that was calming and peaceful to accompany our game. In Descent into Dip, players control Goop, a living dip creature trying to escape the dungeon of the alchemist that created it. Goop is fast, and our game is designed entirely around this sense of speed. Goop is also able to interact with its environment by spreading new dip so that it may dodge the alchemist's snack obstacles and launch itself to new places. Contrary to the comments of the music sounding like sci-fi, our game also takes place in an older setting. This musical disconnect comes from our prioritization of speed over a temporal continuity. time-sensitive buttons. These encourage players to move quickly and trains their skill. Here is another example of a time-gated level. If Goop does not outrace the chips to the top of the wall, then the level is unwinnable. Our design philosophy of speed 
evident in our music, also affects the way we craft challenges for the player. Descent into Dip is also frustrating. Where Faraheim decided to address this problem with a calming soundtrack, we instead tried to transform the player failure into a learning experience and to encourage rather than punish them. Our game fades to black on death and lets the music loop continuously. This creates a sense of endless movement through a level and removes the sense of loss caused by the track restarting. While both games are about escape, and both are frustrating platformers, Descent into Dip embraces this frustration in the same vein of games like Meat Boy and N+, rather than curb it with a soothing atmosphere like Faraheim. The end result is a momentum-filled player experience with a sharp synth backing. shown two games that use music in different ways to address the same patterns and challenges. The ludic and musical differences of Fahrenheim and Descent into Dip showcase the effects that sound can have on pacing and emotional response, even when placed over the same basic formula.